guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the Dogecoin uh, wallet on a Linux machine. Well, Linux operating system. So we got the browser open, so we're just going to go to their website here. So just dodgecoin.com or however you want to say it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and click on Linux. Now I'm just uh, VNC'd in here so the uh, audio, I mean the video quality might not be the greatest but let me switch that over. All right, so we're got a, I got a 64 bit, so we're going to download 64. You may need the 32. It all depends. So we're just going to download the guy. We're just going to save it, and we're just going to open up the file. Open up the folder where it's at. We don't need that no more. So now you can put this wherever you want but we're just going to drag it to the desktop because I'm not going to be using this wallet anyway I already have one set up so we're just going to go ahead and right click go to extract to or extract here we're just going to extract it here all right I had to stop my video there for a second but anyway now what we can do is, as you can see here, if we open this guy up, you can see the following here. And then if we uh, click on the bin file, as you can see, we got a couple things here. Now we're going to go ahead and run this one here. So we can just exit out of that guy and open up a terminal. And let's see if I can make this bigger. Uh, See if it'll cooperate. All right, I think it's big enough for the people in the back to see. So we can just CD into the desktop here. And as you can see, we have it right there. So we can just CD into it. We'll clear it. And like I said, if we do an ls we need to cd into the bin directory and if we do another one as you can see we're going to be using this guy right here and the biggest thing is you're going to need 55 plus gigs of storage uh, a minimum of 55 or more for the uh, wallet and obviously your operating system so <clears throat> now i'm running this on a uh, solid state drive but uh, if you're using an older SATA drive, it might take a little longer. But we'll just type in the following here. And we'll just open this guy up. And as you can see, at least 57 gigs. So we're just going to use... The following directory here and I got 64 gig so we'll be okay uh, this is like I said this is basically just a test machine so and all we need to do is just click on enter then uh, as you can see here it's going to start downloading the wallet so may take a couple days or hours it all depends on your connection possibly you know the speed of your computer your drive and everything else in between uh, I did this on a uh, atomic pie using a solid state drive and it took me around two days so that actually wasn't bad compared to what I was hearing online lately so it worked out pretty good and once this is uh, done uh, as you can see up here, you'll definitely want to encrypt it. So you'll have to put in a password. And if we click on options, you can uh, start this from uh, basically from boot. And as you can see, we got a couple options here. Pretty uh, straightforward. And if we go to file, 
how you receive there's your uh, address for receiving this is how you send <clears throat> you can put in that add some addresses in there and obviously you got your transaction send receive well send receive and then your transaction tab and uh, if you don't want to start it on boot you can just obviously just start it basically the way we did by uh, typing in the following now obviously once this is done you can hide this if you want and like if you can see this down here you may not be able to see it too good because we're VNC in but we're seven years and 12 weeks behind not bad uh, once this gets going you know like I said it uh, didn't take too long I was surprised that it only took me like two days on a atomic pie so works out pretty good so hopefully this kind of helps out uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one and uh, don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe